what causes anxiety and suffering. Um, maybe let me tell you my own story, which is not a nice story, but good ending, happy ending. Uh, my story was, maybe you know, uh, uh, when I was young, I had anxiety disorder or panic disorder, big problem. And uh, uh, when I was in three-year retreat, you know, I'm doing retreat. And that time I really focus to working with my panic. And what I found is there's two causes of the my anxiety, two causes. First, you believe in your panic. Any message come from panic, you think, yes, right, mm, yes, sir. Because you have monkey mind, yeah? What, what I call monkey mind, blah, 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 yada, 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 always talking, talking. But this voice is not nice, always, you know, worry. Worry too much, you know, problem, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. That's a problem, that's a problem. He's not good, she's not good, he's not good. Oh, there's a danger. Oh, and you think, yes, yes, not good, not good. Oh, problem, what should I do? Mm. Oh, you know, and this is why problem become bigger and bigger. And there's this in, in your brain, the scientist said there's a lot of neurons in your brain, and they talk a lot. They love gossip. Gossipy neurons and the sharing gossip each other, you know. And then one neuron said, Oh, there's a problem. Oh. And another neuron said, Yes, there's a problem, you know. Oh, yes, yes. And they make bigger, 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 like political group, you know. Maybe bigger. And then then your perception also change. You know, everything looks like fearful. Everything is looks like danger. Cannot sleep, your heart beats also, and uh, <coughs> uh, for you the world is, you know, fearful. Why? Because you believe in your panic. You say yes, sir. This is why maybe ninety-nine, maybe ninety-eight of your perception is not real. You create it. Fear become bigger, 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 bigger. This is why if you recognize this is my own perception. Some scientists said 99% of our worry not going, going to happening. Not going to happen. You know. Um, this is why there's first causes. First cause. And the second cause is after some time later, maybe you don't like your panic. Uh, for me also. First, I believe panic, yes. Mm -hmm. Then later on, it drive me crazy, you know. A lot of problem. I don't like my panic. I have fear of my panic. I have panic of panic. Aversion of panic. Dislike. The fear of panic is stronger than panic sometimes. And then, that what I call, hey, you know, you, you're fighting with the panic, you're against the panic. And that also creates more, more anxiety. The behind of anxiety, there's another anxiety, push you to develop your, your anxiety. This is why I think best is, the best is the wisdom which is you recognize your own perception. Maybe you have little problem, but your mind exaggerates the problem very big. And uh, the method here is compassion and meditation, calm abiding meditation. And that kind of like give you peace. 
peaceful experience. Your mind becomes more calm and relaxed. A combination of these two, then you can free from panic. That's why this is not only with the panic, all the other sufferings also. Situation, situation in our lives. Um, everybody has their own suffering. Everybody has their own problems. Each one has different problems. Some is a little bit funny. Some is looks like meaningless. Some is look like big problem. But someone having big problem, but they don't feel it's a big problem. Hmm. I'm okay with that, you know. Who cares? So how your mind look at it? When you have problem, they're always connected with maybe yes sir or fighting. Hey, get out! This problem, you know, this true. Uh, for example, uh, funny problem. Maybe I will say funny problem. Uh, what is funny problem? I cannot find now. No problems, you know. <laughs> ah. oh, not really funny, okay. Some people they are very worried about oh my stomach. I look like I have big stomach. Oh no, who knows, you know. Oh, my stomach. And look at the mirror, you know. Oh it's my stomach, you know. And <laughs> maybe your stomach is not so that big. But as you look at the mirror again, again, then you see, oh, I think my stomach is big, you know. And then it's developed in your brain, these gossipy neurons, they're talking to each other. Yes, your stomach is big, not good. Oh, you should do something. Oh, exercise, oh, whatever. Don't eat, it's too much, you know. But I want to eat, but not good. Your mind said, don't eat, but your stomach said, eat, you know, and they fight. And slowly, slowly, you feel like you're very ugly. And every day you, you feel like you're become, your stomach has become bigger and bigger, although it's not. Maybe who knows, it becomes smaller. But you feel like it becomes bigger and bigger, you know. And when you walk in front of other people, oh, she's looking at my big stomach. Oh, she's looking at my big stomach. Actually, nobody looking at your stomach. But you think like that. Then you cannot communicate with others, you know, you're very shy or embarrassed or, you know, depressed. And, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, and then sometimes you may you may thought, oh, it's maybe not no, it's not real. Maybe I'm just thinking, my maybe I'm just created. I'm thinking that I have big stomach, and you make some research. Maybe they are not looking at my stomach. And the result of your research is yes, they are looking at your stomach. Stomach, actually they are not. Then your beliefs become stronger. And you have hope and fear, yes, no, yes, no, you know. So it's 90% 90, 90 or 95% is not real. So if you recognize, oh, this is just my own perceptions. Maybe I have a little bit big, but not so that big, you know. And they are not looking at my stomach. Then you can get rid of, you can liberate of this problem. And that's what we call wisdom. I have to maintain that recognition, if you, especially with the meditation, it's better. But without meditation, you can do, but with the mindfulness, with awareness, even better. So, wisdom and method together. Thank you.